एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इरुकुन कम्युनिटी रेस्ट एपीआई सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाइल क्रिएटिंग द यूआरआई फॉर वेब सर्विसेज व्हाट आर द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस व्हिच वी नीड टू फॉलो एंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस टू डेवलप द रेस्टफुल वेब सर्विसेज सो you all know that why this uh, restful web services is so much uh, popular so basically restful web services use the rest api as means of implementation using the web protocol which is uh, http protocol and rest api is nothing but an application programming interface which is the full form of api you all know so basically uh that uh, follows the rest architectural constraints like uh, statelessness cacheability maintainability simplicity means easy to simple and easy to scalable okay so it has become very popular among the developer community due to its simplicity so it is very much important to develop safe and secure rest apis that uh follow good uh conventions so here i have attached some good key points which we can follow uh for the best practices to develop the restful web services so the first one is good practice to develop the rest api is that accept and responds with json data format as a uh, rest supports uh multiple data formats like text or uh html xml anything so it is however good practice to develop the rest apis that accept and uh, responds with a json data whenever possible so this is because a majority of the client and server technologies have inbuilt support to read and uh, parse the json objects with easily okay so thereby making json the standard object notations it uh, it will be one of the good practice so to ensure the application responds using json data format which i have discussed already and secondly to ensure that the application responds using json data format the response header should have a content type set at, set to as application then uh slash json so this is because certain http clients look at the value of this response header to parse the objects appropriately and secondly to ensure that the request sends the data in json format again the content type must be set to application uh, slash json on the request header uh secondly the naming conventions so while naming the resource endpoints ensure to use plural nouns not the verbs the api endpoints should be clear brief and easy to understand and informative also so using verbs in the resource name does not contribute much information because an http request already has what the request is doing in uh, its uh, http method or verb so an appropriate http verb should be used to represent the task of the api endpoint so these are the commonly used http methods which i also discussed in the third lecture of this rest api series so the first one is the get which indicates uh, the get or retrieve the resource data then post post means indicates a uh, create new resource data put which indicates update the existing resources and delete it indicates remove uh, the resource data so this are done next is 
to represent the hierarchy of uh, resources use the nesting in the naming conventions of the end points so in case uh, you want to retrieve data of uh, one object residing in another object the end point should uh, reflect this to communicate what is happening like uh, in the example i have uh, attached that uh, to get the content of an user contact of an user we can use the get method for the uh, uh, uri that is some uh, users inside that id and inside that contact so there are uh, two levels under the users so users inside this id and inside this the contact details and inside contact if you want some phone numbers or mobile numbers or email then there will be another labels also okay but ensure there are no more than two or three levels of uh, nesting as the name of the uri can become too long and unwieldy uh, so next is error handling so error handling should be done gracefully by returning appropriate error codes the application has encountered and rest has defined a uh, standard http status codes that uh, can be sent along with the response based on the scenario so uh, error codes should also be accompanied by appropriate error messages that can help the developers to take uh, corrective actions and uh, which also elaborates as well which can help the hacker to hack your applications means uh, however the message should not be too elaborate okay uh, and through this uh, the hacker will be able to hack your applications so you should be uh, most means uh, you have to be more conscious you should be more conscious during this process procedures so there are some common status codes are there which also i have discussed in the third lecture of this rest api series some of our uh, 400 so 400 it is means uh, the bad request uh, which is client side error and failed input validation 401 means unauthorized the user is not author authenticated and hence does not have authority to access the uh, resources next one is 403 which is forbidden so user is authenticated but is not authorized to access the resource 404 means not found the resource is not found next is 500 which is internal server error which is very uh, generic server side error that is uh, thrown when the server goes down and this should not be returned by the programmer explicitly next one is 502 which is bad gateway server did not uh, receive a valid response from the upstream server and next one is 503 means service unavailable some unexpected things happened on the server such as system failure or overload etc so next is while retrieving huge resource data it is advisable to include filtering and pagination of the resources this is because returning huge data all at once can uh, slow down the system and reduce the application performance the next one is good security practices which i have uh, discussed here so basically good security practices are a most uh, while developing rest apis the client server communication must be private due to the nature of uh, data sensitivity means uh, incorporating some ssl or tsl or uh, sorry tls becomes the uh, most important step of while developing apis as uh, they facilitate uh, establishing secure communication so apart from that the secure channels we need to ensure that uh, now everyone should be able to access the resources like uh, normal users should not access the data of admins or another user hence uh, role based access controls which i have discussed also the what what is the role based access controls 
should be in the place to uh, make sure only the right set of users can access the right set of data. So next, next is since uh, REST supports the feature of caching, so we can use this feature to cache the data in order to improve the application performance. And caching is basically done uh, to avoid querying the database for a request uh, repeated times. And uh, caching makes the data retrieval first. However, uh, we have to take care to ensure that uh, the cache has updated the data and not outdated ones. So frequent cache update measures uh, need to need to be uh, incorporated. And uh, there are many uh, cache providers like uh, Redis that can assist in caching. So next one is API versioning. Uh, versioning needs to be done in case uh, if we are planning to make any changes with the existing endpoints. We do not want to break communication between our application and the apps. Uh, that consume or uh, or takes our application while we are working on the API release. The transition has to be seamless, and uh, some semantic versioning can be followed, like uh, like one point eight point three four three forty or something, or like uh, three point zero point one. Okay, which represents uh, the third major version. Okay, 3.0.1. This is the third measure version, like uh, with the first patch. You can say like I'm here 3.0.1. This is the third version. And here one means the patch. Okay. So this is basically third major version with the first patch. Usually in the API endpoints, we define uh, like version one or version two or version three in this format. So at the beginning of the API path. So I think uh, these are the best practices which we can follow to develop the RESTful web services. Keep watching to uh, Again, some uh, lecture series. Thank you.